In Chapter 4, we are going to begin our study of leaves and plants. We are going to talk about in Lesson 1 how leaves help a plant. Leaves are made of cells and tissues. The process of photosynthesis takes place in the cell's chloroplast. Remember, a, pl a plant cell contains chloroplasts and cell walls unlike an animal cell. Leaves are organs made of cells and tissues. The outside layer of flat cells is the epidermis. In some ways, this tissue is similar to the layer, the top layer of your skin, which is also called the epidermis. It helps protect the plant. The inner tissue looks like a sponge. It has spaces that air can pass through. Tiny openings at the bottom of the leaf can open to let air in and out of the inner tissue. The vessel tissue is also made of cells. They carry food and water through the plant to all other plant parts. Here you can see a cross-section view of the parts of a leaf. Up at the top is the epidermis like we talked about in the previous slide. In the middle here is the vessel tissue. This arrow is pointing to the stoma. Photosynthesis. You have probably heard that in order for plants to live, their cells need energy from sunlight. That's true, but you may wonder how this happens. How does a plant use energy from sunlight? How can any of the cells do work at night without sunlight? How do the cells and roots live without ever getting sunlight? You can answer these questions if you know that plant cells use cellular respiration just like our cells. We watched the Bill Nye video in class about cellular respiration. That is, they use oxygen with food to get energy they need for growth, repairs, and reproduction. Photosynthesis is the process that plants and some other organisms use to make sugar for food. Photosynthesis happens in the chloroplasts of plant cells. Remember that chloroplasts are in plant cells, but not in animal cells. In photosynthesis, carbon dioxide and water are used to make sugar and oxygen. Plants are a major source of oxygen in the atmosphere. Sunlight supplies the energy needed for photosynthesis. This process of photosynthesis is often written like this, carbon dioxide plus water plus sunlight energy produces oxygen and sugar. Here's another diagram of photosynthesis. The sunlight is going to the leaf as well as carbon dioxide and water and the leaf produces sugar and oxygen. Another diagram in a different form. Sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water go to the chlorophyll in the leaves. The water and nutrients go through the roots. And sugar and oxygen are released. Chloroplasts are the parts of the plant cells that give plants their green color and this is where photosynthesis happens. Sugar, when photosynthesis happens, sugar is moved to all the cells of the plant including the cells in the underground roots. The plant cells do not always use the sugar immediately. The plant will store some of the sugar to use at night. For long-term storage, plants join many sugars to form a chemical called starch. Plants are not the only organisms that get energy from starch and sugar. You do too. Whenever you eat foods from plants, you eat the plant's sugars and starches. Potatoes and grain are parts of plants that are made most, up mostly of stored starches. Your cells use these as en sources of energy. Sugar is not just a source of energy. Thousands of sugars 
combine in plants to form cellulose. This chemical makes up the strong cell walls of plants. Here's a scanning electron micrograph of wood cellulose or the cell walls. 